Now let us discuss about graphical notation for PDA in theory of computation. Let us solve this problem. Draw graphical notation for the following PDA transitions. So totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 transition functions are given. So according to these 5 transition functions, we have to draw the graphical notation. We know that PDA is represented by 7 tuples. They are Q, Sigma, Tau, Delta, Q0, Z0 and F. Q means finite set of states. Here the states are Q0, Q1 and QF. Sigma means input, al input alphabet. Input alphabet means the second argument. So input alphabet here mainly contains two symbols. They are A and B. Next one is Tau. Tau means stack alphabet. Stack alphabet means third argument. Stack alphabet mainly contains two symbols. They are Z0 and A. Next one is Delta. So Delta is a transition function. So this transition functions mainly contains three arguments. So the first argument is current state. Second argument is input alphabet symbol. Third argument is uh, uh, stack alphabet top symbol is equal to this. Uh, this is nothing but destination transition. Destination. So here Q0 is the destination transition function. A Z0 means the corresponding stack will be replaced by Z0 will be replaced by A Z0. Okay. So A Z0 is nothing but the content of the stack now. Okay. Next Q0 is the initial state. So here also Q0 is the initial state. So Z0 means the topmost element which is present in the stack. F means a set of final states. So now let us construct the transition diagram. So here graphical notation is nothing but a transition diagram only. There is no difference between graphical notation and transition diagram. So both are same only. So here what is the initial state? So Q0 is the initial state. So just like the DFA, so here also we will draw the uh, transition diagram. Okay. Q0 is the initial state. Whereas what is the input symbol? Input symbol is A. So here the destination state is also Q0. So this is self loop. So if the input symbol is A, and as well as as well as if topmost symbol present in the stack is Z0, then if topmost here this is nothing but input symbol, this Z0 is nothing but topmost symbol present in the stack, then it will be replaced by then Z0 it will be replaced by AZ0. Okay, AZ0. So this Z0 will be replaced by AZ0. So we know about meaning of these transition functions. So here if the input symbol is A as well as stack is empty. So simply we need to perform push operation. So this Z0 will be replaced by AZ0. So now stack contains AZ0. Okay. Next, what is the second transition function? Q0, A, A. So that means if the input symbol is A as well as stack topmost symbol is A, then we need to perform the push operation. So this A, this A will be, this A will be pushed onto the stack. So this stack A will be replaced by A, A. So we can write this as if the input symbol is A as well as if stack's topmost symbol is A, then this A will be replaced with double A. This A will be replaced with double A. Okay. So two transition functions are over. Next, if the state is Q0 and if we read input symbol B as well as if the stack's topmost symbol is A, then we have to change the state from Q0 to Q1. Here epsilon denotes that we are performing the pop operation. We are performing the pop operation. So here what is the input symbol? B is the input symbol. Let us assume that B is the input symbol. What is stack's topmost symbol? A. So here input symbol is B as well as stack's topmost symbol is A. Then what we have to do? We need to perform the pop operation. So pop means epsilon. So simply this A will be popped from the stack. This A will be popped from the stack. And we have to move from Q0 to the Q1 state, Q0 to the Q1 state. So the first two are push operations, whereas this one is pop operation. Let us focus on fourth transition function. If the input symbol is B, as well as stack topmost symbol is A, then there is no need to change the state. We will be in Q1 only, but we need to perform the pop operation. So let us assume that the input symbol is B, and what is the tag, stack topmost symbol? A, and we are at Q1 only, okay? So then we need to perform the pop operation. That means this A will be deleted from the, st deleted from the stack. 
So now we will be at what? Uh, here, here there is no state change. So we need to apply self transition. Here the current state is Q1 as well as uh, this destination state is also Q1. What is the input symbol? B is the input symbol. And what is the stack staff mode symbol A? So it will be replaced by epsilon. Epsilon indicates that we are performing the pop operation. So these two are pop, these two are push. And what is the last one? If the current state is Q1 and if the input symbol is epsilon, that means uh, uh, let us assume that the string is like this. Here end of the string is epsilon. Epsilon denotes that we reached the end of the string. If the input symbol is epsilon and Z0 indicates that stack is empty, then we need to move to the QF state and there is no need of uh, any replacement. Okay, Already stack contains Z0. There is no need to replace Z0 with some other content. Okay, We have to keep Z0 as it is. So that's why we need to write as Z0 by Z0. Okay, So Q1, what is the input symbol? Epsilon. So this is the input symbol. Epsilon, comma. Next, what is the stack stop mode symbol? Z0. Then Z0 will be replaced by Z0 only. So that means we are not changing the content of the stack and we are reaching the final state. So this is nothing but final state. Okay. So in this way, uh, we can draw graphical notation for the PDA. It is just like a transition diagram for the PDA.